Okay, I'm going to show you how I make my little videos using an Android. I love Android. So I go to Snapchat. I then go to the filter that I use, which is Angry Brows. Um, they need to see your eyes. I then press the record button, hold it over, you know, record a little bit. Not going to do all record that. Button. So next, what I do is I put the words on there. Snapchat has more words than Instagram. Okay, it has more variations. So it has rainbow and it usually has like a seasonal thing. So this has spring. Um, and then you can change the color. And then you just put it anywhere you want on the screen. After that, you have this little post-it right here. I press the post-it. Um, the difference between Snapchat and Instagram is that Snapchat has the black female emoji. If you press right here, you'll come up with the little different emotions down here you can go through. You can go to the mad um, ones, um, happy, love, and you can simply press it, put it on here, do whatever you want with it. Okay, but you also can use the search button and say I want to search something like dancing. It's going to bring up, you know, little stuff and you can scroll over. I love the Snoop Dogg one. Okay, so you press words in there, put them on here, make them bigger, smaller, whatever. After you're done, you press save. The reason why you do not want to press save before you put your emojis and stuff on there, it's saying discard, but you already saved it. You can see it right here. It's not discarding it. Okay, you press the X to get out of here, and then you press here to go to the gallery of Snapchat. So, that's only a four-second one, but here is a 50-second one. If you do the 50-second one, it only allows you to edit 10 seconds at a time. So, you go up here, press Edit Snap. You can move the old stuff around that you put on there. You can add new stuff. And then what you do to save, you press done. Save as a copy. It does not save it to your gallery. You're going to have to save it to your gallery. Then to go to the next 10 seconds, click on this side of the screen. It'll go to the next 10 seconds. Next. Then press edit but snap. For this, oh, I will do Android next. But for this. Add your emojis. You're done. You might have noticed there was two options when you press done. Oh, I will do save. Android next. Then after that, press on this side again. Go to the next 10 seconds. And it snap. So you want to put on your emojis before you press save and get out of there. there you can press save and say, oh, as long as it's still on the screen, you the still trailer, put emojis trailer, and press save again. When you do all the okay. So as you can see right here, here's the thirsty one. And here's the one oh, where this little hand right with next. a bird or something. You would have to then save these to your camera we roll. So you want to done. export snap can, and press camera roll. And go in your see it your says movie. exporting snap and snap. then it says one snap exported. Then well, you go to the next Android one. Next. Export this one to your snap, for, your camera roll. This. That's it for there. If I go into my gallery and I go to snap chat. As you can see, there's the thirsty one. There's that one. Okay. Remember the four second one I did with Snoop Dogg in it? So what you would do then, most people do not know on Android. There are three little dots right here that give options. And I do create a movie. And I put them all together. So they'll pop up here. Record button, hold it over. You know, record a little bit. And it'll go from one. And I say, oh, too much space in between there. I drag this over. I trim that space off. We are And done. now all that dead space is gone. What I can do from here is just press save if I want to. It will save it. It will make it a 22 second movie altogether. See, four second, nine second, nine second. It will make it a 22 second movie altogether. Not chopped up in three different ones. Or I can go to my library. This is what I love about Android. And I can go to soundtrack, press on no soundtrack, press on this plus sign right here, and any song in my phone, little baby, any 
song in my phone, I can put on here. I can move it over and say I wanted to start at the 30 second mark. Sound with me. Press OK. Now, it'll have soundtrack volume, video volume. I always turn down my soundtrack volume because I don't want my it to overbear my words. Because I can't hear myself. So I'll turn it down even some more. You just have it in the background. After that, you press apply. And then you press save. So it doesn't save to snap. It'll save to quick video editor album. So remember it was three different videos. If I go to quick editor album, right here, 22 seconds. Bam. With little baby and everything on it. So since it is less than a one minute video, because Instagram only lets you do one minute at a time, I can actually then Go to Instagram if I wanted to put more emojis on there. I can go here, normal, bring it up. There's the 20 second video. Instagram does 15 seconds down here. Unlike Snapchat does 10 seconds once. But in Instagram, I can manipulate the video. I can make the video smaller. So if I want to put some more emojis around it like this, I actually can. Then I go into the next one, put decrease it put emojis around it right there so after I'm done doing that I then will press the arrow right here and download it to my phone after I download each 15 seconds with the emojis to my phone I will then go to the folder which will be the Instagram folder. Press on the three dots in gallery. It downloaded to Instagram. Press create movie. Press on the clips. And now I can press save. Or I can add music to it. It's your preference. Now say you recorded a regular video. It doesn't matter, just on your phone, you was out and about, it wasn't a Snapchat or anything else, it doesn't matter. What matters is how long that video was. So, for instance, some of my videos are up to 12 minutes long. What I would have to do is chop the video up. This is three minutes, 37 seconds. So usually what I do is chop the video up in 59 second increments, okay? Just to make sure if it's an Instagram, all right? I do not try and go on Snapchat to do this instagram so i press edit and then i get it to 59 seconds and so you have to remember the exact seconds in millisecond 59 20 uh, that said 59 20 i know it did so 59 20 i press save i edit again now i go in the opposite direction 59 20 okay all right, now I got it to 59.20 on the end, but now it's still 2.37 because this video was 3.37. I need to get it down to 59 seconds. 158.32, you saw it. So then I got to get the first part to 158.32. And then I got to get the bottom part to one minute. That was 257.60. I saw it. Save. Two fifty seven sixty. After I've done that and it's chopped and screwed. It went to my quick editor right here. 59 seconds, 59 seconds, 59 seconds, 39 seconds. I then can go into Instagram. There you go. 59 seconds, 59 seconds, 59 seconds, 39 seconds. Press multiple. I want to edit. I can manipulate 
and then I add my emojis. And I will have to go to each one, like I said before, and save them. Once I save them all to my gallery, I will get out of here, press the X, go back in my gallery, go to Instagram, and then I'll do create movie, add them all just like last time, and create a movie. That's it. That's how I do my videos. That's what goes on behind the scenes. Um, I have no special kind of equipment. It's Snapchat and Instagram. Now, um, I know it's a lot more work when you're editing in an Android than if you did iMovie. iMovie, you simply just uh, got to move the thing over to exactly where you want it and clip it and, you know, cut. But the thing is, um, that is true. But with Android, I, I put music on a lot of my stuff. So I literally hate iMovie to add sound to it. Because to, for me to get sound to a movie clip in an iPhone, iPad, what I do is I will go to gallery and I'll pick, like say this song is three minutes and 36 seconds long. I'll pick a clip that's three minutes and 36 seconds long. <laughs> I'll say create a movie. I'll go to library. I'll go to soundtrack. I go to little baby because three minutes, 36 seconds long, right? I will take the video volume all the way out. The video volume is me talking. That's what this clip is about. I'll leave the soundtrack volume all the way up. I will then press apply. And I'll press save, right? It'll be saved to my gallery. So after that, I will then go to my quick editor where it's saved at. I will then press share. And I will upload it to Dropbox. Now, once it is uploaded to Dropbox, I can then go on the iPad or iPhone that I'm sharing this Dropbox folder with. And then they can go in, or me, if you have both of the devices, but they can go in and they can press these three little dots right here and press export. It will then export the video that the Android shared with them to their gallery. And it works and vice versa. You can, you can send clear videos through Dropbox to an Android and you must share the folder with them, with that particular person. Like, the, like ask them, well, what's your email address of your Dropbox? And share it like that. If the video is a minute or shorter you can share the video from android to i shit or i shit shitty ass devices to android through facebook messenger and instagram dms it is so easy to do it that way but when a video is like three minutes and 37 seconds long you need to go through dropbox so once you export it into your gallery from Dropbox onto the iPad, then from there, you will go back to the video for the iPhone and you would bring that video into iMovie. Now, this particular video just has the soundtrack, the song on it. So when you add it to the iPad iPhone, and you're going to add it, you will click the options to simply add audio only. 
bam, you just got that song on iPad, iPhone without paying for it. That's how you do it. You let Android send it through the Dropbox as a video. And then in iMovie, you can add it to your iMovie skit audio only. And you got the song for free. That's it. That's the tricks of the trade. Good luck.